vlog has been pretty quiet and that's just because some days I don't feel like coming on here and talking I just feel like doing my stuff so I spent the morning um, doing some light cleaning and unboxing my new easy plants these plants are so cute like this palm plant is like so cute I like that the palm plant isn't like too big but she still makes a cute little statement not sure I'm gonna put these plants yet I gotta get some plant stands from them from Ikea I might go to Ikea today um, to go pick some stands up for them. Um, but I think this is so cute. I also love this fiddle leaf fig plant. Can't really pick her up because she's a bit heavy. Um, actually, I'm strong. I could pick her up. <laughs> um, I love this fiddle leaf fig plant. Out of all the big plants, like the birds of paradise, the monstera plants, like fiddle leaf fig plants are like my favorite. Like I just love how thick the leaves are. They just feel very full of life, just very joyous, and they just like feel really warming. So I'm happy to have this in my space. Um, both of these plants are from Easy Plants. If you never heard of them, check the link in my description below. Shout out to them for gifting me these plants from my home. I have a special link below if you want to go ahead and check them out. Um, but yeah, the easy plants are as easy as they said. As you saw, I unboxed these plants and they came potted and everything. And all I have to do is just like take off the lid and go ahead and fill her up with water. And that's it. It says I should check in on the reservoir once a month. Um, and go ahead and refill it so yeah just make sure to check in on it and if it's empty go ahead and fill her up the reservoir is making sure that the plant is getting the right amount of water that way i'm not drowning the plant or underwatering it um so i love this so so much it's been such a long time since i've been a plant mommy the last time i was a plant mommy was back in like 2019 when i was living in brooklyn and i had a roommate um so i'm so excited to be like a solo plant mommy in my own space um but i freaking love 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 this plant this pot also comes with the plants um i think this is in the shade cream or white um but i really love just i really really love this pot it's super thick and it matches my color scheme so once i get some stands to kind of like elevate um the plants will help me get a better idea as to where i want them to go i think i want one of these plants to definitely be like in this area maybe near the mirror over here in the balcony door i'm so excited to just like add more color and just like more life literal life to my space i'm gonna make sure every morning that i talk to my plants because like in one of Janae Eichel songs i think in one of the verses it was like if you talk to your plants it'll talk to you <laughs> y'all y'all know what song i'm talking about y'all know what song i'm talking about <laughs> but yeah let's make sure we're talking to our plants every morning let's make sure that we are pouring into them i don't yet have a name for either of these plants yet um i need some time to like let them kind of marinate in my space before i can give them a name um but right now this is my cute little fig but yes that is enough of the plant talk okay now that the plant talk is out the way y'all the way my pr packages have been like stacking up like it's just been so overwhelming to like try and set up my apartment set up my place but then also like film and like unbox it's just like a lot happening so i'm like you know what let's get this done now let's film let's get our stories out for the pr packaging um but i'm gonna do some pr packaging here on youtube with y'all because i usually only share my pr packaging on instagram stories um i'm like you know what some of y'all on YouTube don't be on TikTok or Instagram. So let me go ahead and show y'all some of the really good goodies that I do get from a brand as a content creator. It's probably one of like my favorite parts about being a content creator. It's a good way for me to say some coin too. And also I recently went to Sephora this week to pick up some goodies on things that we need to read up on. So let's go ahead and get into the Sephora goodies first since I purchased these items with my own coin. So I just re upped on the Kosas Chemistry Sport Deodorant. I have been wearing this deodorant faithfully for like the past two years now. Like I love this deodorant down. And then I just stocked up on my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. If you pair this setting spray with the um, 
one size mattifying waterproof setting spray, your makeup will be on lock. I told y'all, if I was gonna buy any luxury beauty products, like YSL is actually like that girl. I can't vouch for all YSL products, but I can say their mascara, this lash class specifically, has my heart. When I do my eyeliner, I actually prefer a dark brown liner versus black liner. I don't know why. I just feel like sometimes the black liner can be like super intense for like an everyday look. So I do like a dark brown that still shows up in the waterline, but it's just not so like in your face. But yeah, so I picked up another one of these um, Sephora waterproof eyeliners and this is in the shade matte brown. So yeah, that was all my little Sephora pickups. I was trying not to go too crazy because I get PR sometimes and sometimes I'll go to Sephora and not unbox stuff and then I end up getting stuff that I would buy at Sephora. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just get the essentials that I know I'm probably not going to have in PR. Okay, what do we have here? Some of this stuff I think I opened but just like didn't take out the box. So what do we have? This is from Tower 28. The fact that I am now on Tower 28's PR, we got some Sunny Days. This is their SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I'm not sure how I feel about tinted sunscreen because tinted sunscreens on black girls for some reason leave a cast and I don't understand because if it's tinted why is it leaving a cast on us right I don't know I got the shade Temescal number 55 um yeah I'm gonna try her on one day to see like how she does this is what I love about Tower 28 like all of their products are just heavily surrounded by just like skin recovery conditioning soothing like and I love skin products that just like soothe my skin so this is essentially a hydrating gentle moisturizer to help reset the skin back to its baseline with four types of hyaluronic acids and ceramides oh the cute little note Hi, Imani. We're so excited to be launching SOS Daily Barrier Recovery Cream. We hope you love it. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. XOXO Team T28. Okay, so we got the SOS spray. We got another one of the Daily Barrier Recovery Cream. Oh, and we got a mini. I'm definitely going to take this mini to the gym. This is always like my favorite, like post workout routines. Like, spray this on my face after working out. Oh, and they have a serum. They have an intensive rescue serum. Let's see what Michelle is sent us. Beautiful skin foundation. Oh, it's makeup this time around. Normally when I get stuff from Charlotte Tilbury, it's skincare. Ah! So we have a complexion brush and we have the beautiful skin foundation. I'm curious to know what color they sent me. Like, cause I don't think they asked me like what shade was I? So maybe they're just assuming that I'm a certain shade. This is in the shade 14 cool. I don't know y'all, we gonna see. Oh wait. This actually, even just from that, looks like a good match. She might be a little orangey, but it says cool. It looks good on the hand, blended, but we'll just have to see on the face. So we got some new shades in the YSL oil and stick and their candy glazes. She's cute. And then I got another lip oil from this brand called Pavise. And this is their tinted hydrating oil. And it has SPF 30 and it has 100% mineral sunscreen in it. So this should be very interesting to have a lip product that actually has color in it that is a mineral sunscreen with SPF 30. This is in the shade number 616. Packaging is cute. Ooh, she's creamy. She is creamy. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch her. Ooh, she feels nice too. Actually like hydrating for real, for real. I really like this. Ooh, I gotta try her with MAC Chestnut and see how that looks on me. I love the sexual wellness brand called Maud. I have their vibrator. Girl, girl. Anybody been talking about the rose or whatever? I ain't messing with that rose. I found me a cute little, cute little toy three speeds and she's sleek as heck like i could leave it out anywhere in this apartment and people could come over no one would think that it's a vibrator like that's how like sleek the design is like i love mod i have had that same vibrator since like 2017 it's rechargeable never had any issues it's still powerful love it down okay Ooh. 
It says, sex made simple. A warming water-based personal lubricant. I love me some, some sensual self-care now. This is the bottle that she comes in. It says heat. Let's see if she has a scent. She doesn't have a scent really, but it doesn't smell like rubber or anything like weird. I'm gonna try her out and I'm gonna report back. Cause you know, single girl living alone. She gotta make do with a do. Okay. So Kosas just recently came out with a new brow product um, and it's their new Brow Pop Nano. So this is their Brow Pop Nano and then this is their Brow Pop. So the Brow Pop Nano is supposed to give like those more defined hair like strokes, more like a detailing brush. And then the Brow Pop is really supposed to be what you use to kind of fill in um, larger sparse areas. I love these both. So definitely would recommend these two products for your brow routine. Then we got some stuff from Ned. We're introducing portable fragrance diffuser. This is so cute too. It's like a cute little egg. So basically these are the cotton pads that you would like squirt the essential oil on and then you would drop the cotton pad inside of here and then the fan will turn on and it'll like mist out all the scents that's on here. Well, they sent me so many different oils. Now I'm gonna see which one I like the best. Out of all the scents, I would have to say my fave is the Himalayan salt in the rose water, the lime zest in matcha, and the mandarin in yuzu. Thank you, Ness. Ooh, what about Fenty? Fenty! Fenty needs spoiling me. Oh my gosh, I just got some stuff recently from Fenty Skin. I got some other stuff from Fenty Beauty last month. Oh, this is our cheeks out cream blush. And they have new shades. We got a bunch of the new cheeks out cream blushes. Ooh, come on bronzer. Okay, so this is chocolate. Ooh. This might suit me really, really well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try this, y'all. I'm oily skin girly, so I always get nervous with cream products. But I think if I learn how to layer my cream to powder ratio, I think I might be okay. Okay, so this is Raisin Standards. This is the shade Riri. This is Pinky Promise. Ooh, she's a hot pink. Big Melons. Oh, this is like a fire orange. And this is Peach Face. And this is like a true like peachy orange. I wanna try both of those together. Then we got a package from this brand called Inside Then Out. It sounds like healing. Oh, this is so sweet. The packaging on the inside says, you're the one you've been waiting for. Weekly overview notepad. Oh, I like this. This is super cute. The Scorpio Zodiac Lined Journal. I love this. And it comes with Scorpio journal prompts. So some of the journal prompts are, where can you allow yourself to let go? Which parts of your true self do you have difficulty acknowledging and accepting? In which areas of your life are you most like water? Ooh. Yeah. Look at that. Scorpio, noun, magnetic, loyal, protective, intuitive, passionate, and ambitious. Shout out to all the Scorpios. If you are a Scorpio, babe, comment below. Look at that. Ah. Oh. oh, this is making me feel mushy, gushy. And I love that it's wide ruled. I hate skinny line journals. This is a note to self hardcover lined journal in beige. Y'all know I love my whites. Oh, this is so freaking cute. This is so cute. It says notes to sell. Tools for more intentional modern living. Yeah. The dig deeper journal in beige. She says, sis, dig deep into your soul. Let's get to the root of the trauma. I'm obsessed with this color. It looks like gray on camera, but it's a nice like tan nude. A guided journal for intention, healing, and growth by Naya Jones. Oh, I like this. There's like a bunch of different prompts. There's different chapters. There's a chapter for intention. There's a chapter for healing, a chapter for gratitude, a chapter for presence, a chapter for purpose, and a chapter for growth. Wow. The very first page prompt is who are you no longer willing to be? 
See now, my only critique with the journal is that seeing a prompt like this, I'm gonna need like 10 million pages to write out my thoughts, not just one here. But I think this could be like a good like starter. And then I use the notes to self book here to kind of finish out my thoughts. I like this. Oh, Miss Naya Jones, if you are watching or if you are out there somewhere in the world and you stumble across this video one day, girl, shout outs to you for doing the work, creating little moments in time for us women to really do the work. I love that, I love that. Thank you, Naya, thank you, girl. Okay, now, y'all, the very last thing, she's a big one. <laughs> I can't even pick this up. Hold on, let me let me bring the camera down, cause whoa. Oh my goodness, Caraway, what? Y'all, this is peak adulting. Oh my gosh. This cream color is Stunning. Oh, we about to be cooking, cooking. I'm talking about we cooking in lingerie. We cooking in our robe. Oh yeah, we gonna, oh yeah. Oh yeah, girl. detailing on this. This can be good for my palm since it is smaller than the fiddly fig plant. Y'all better come up here and get one of these. Do y'all see all these neutral colors? This collab is like, do y'all see all these neutral colors? I think I want this one.
Hey bookies. So I made it back from Target and Ikea and I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I got. It's kind of late. It's like 8.32 and y'all know I need my wind down me time. Okay. Y'all can't get all of me. Just a little bit of me. <laughs> so I picked up some toilet paper because I desperately needed it. I also picked up some detergent. I am through the roof over the moon about this Stanley Cup. I am so excited for this Hearth and Hand with Magnolia collab with Stanley. This screams fall. This is a limited edition color, but it is the dark brown one out of the entire collection. So this is a 40 ounce one and this is a 30 ounce one. I absolutely love this white one here i feel like this is like my everyday one but this right here this is just so cute i am gushing so i think i'm gonna use a 30 ounce one for like my liquid iv and then i'm just gonna use this one for like just regular plain water intake and plus it's an extra 10 ounce so y'all know i'm trying to like get on my water intake so i think this will motivate me because it's cute yeah i know i love my neutrals my nudes my whites my browns Y'all already know. So, yes. Cheers. <laughs> then I got these super huge Ikea Ribba picture frames. I got these frames because I am getting some custom art delivered to me. I cannot wait for you guys to see this custom piece that this black woman artist, she goes by Smart Art on instagram i'm sure y'all probably already following her like i be gagging over her work so she reached out to me and was like i want to gift you a piece and the photo that i wanted her to create oh my gosh i cannot wait for that to come in that custom piece is actually going to be on canvas and it's going to be humongous like it's gonna be big but these two frames are for the digital art pieces that she is also gifting me so i wanted to go ahead and just pick up the frames now uh, before they get to me so that way when they get here i can just go ahead and put them in the frame i think with these two i'm gonna hang them over my bed because i feel like my bedroom definitely needs some color um so i'm excited i love the white frame i love the thickness of the frame i didn't want like a thin frame i really wanted like a nice thick frame so yeah i got two of those for my digital prints and then the last piece is this cute 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 ikea plant stand um this is actually supposed to be like a potter for the plant but i'm actually not going to use it because my plants come in their own little pot and ceramic base so i'm just gonna sit the plant on top of here just to give it some height and some dimension because it's already sitting really low to the ground. But yeah, so that is all I got. We did our little errands today. We did some cleaning today. We got out the house. We did some unboxing today. I feel like today was a very successful day. Um, and yeah, it's going on 9 p.m. And I just want some time to myself to go ahead and just wind down, take a shower do what i do sensual self-care and get some shy eye okay so yeah bye Mwah.